so I woke up to freezing cold rabbits. She did not make her nest when she had her babies and they're out there freezing. She only had three and one of them has passed away. So I'm putting them close to me to try to keep them warm. <laughs> And my plan is to put them with my rabbit that had babies um, Wednesday to see if she'll take them. So I'm going to get them warm first. <music> morning total chaos okay so this is what I've done I called um, a rabbit rescue and what they suggested that I do is fluffy May my other rabbit had babies on Wednesday so they suggested me take fluffy May out of her cage here she is she had six kids on Wednesday so I'm to take her out of her cage give her a treat to separate her and then I'm giving the two babies and rubbing her wool all over them to get her scent on the babies. And then I'm to put the babies back into the nest. So let's see how this goes. So I come to Fluffy's May, May's nest to find this. Oh my gosh, it is just a rabbit disaster this morning. So right now I have the baby that was out of the cage um, close to me. It is moving. Um, I'm just gonna let it feel my warmth of my body and then I'm gonna put it back under the heat lamp. Um, I took Fluffy May and I put her in another cage for a minute. And after these babies warm up, I'm going to rub her fur all over them, or her wool, all over them to have her scent on them. And then I'm gonna put them back into the nesting box. Oh my goodness. Y'all, farming can be very difficult at times. Like you can wake up, not even have time to get ready and it's a total disaster. Um, sometimes it looks so much fun seeing all the cute pictures and the babies running around, but it's not always fun. Okay, so I went and got some wool and I'm gonna take these two babies and I'm just going to rub her wool all over them to get her scent on these babies. I'm told this will work and I'm desperate. So I'm just gonna rub them all over these babies. Please let this work, oh my gosh. They're still alive. They're doing well. Yeah, they're they're both moving. Okay. Go take the little ones to their nesting box and pray that they, she accepts them and that they do well. Okay, I've put them back in the nest. I'm gonna cover them up. Fluffy's not in here as you can see. So I'm 
just praying for the best. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have Fluffy right here away from them. So she didn't see me put them in there. So she's not disturbed. So um, I'm gonna go feed her to distract her a little bit and give her some treats. And let's just, let's pray for the best. Some people say that, you know, the mom of the rat, the mama rabbit will kick the babies out if there's something wrong. But I firmly believe in all my heart that there's nothing wrong with that baby because the belly was so full of milk. So I believe that the uh, kit squirmed out of the nesting box and got out. I don't believe the mom kicked it out. <laughs> my goodness. Now it's time for me to go get ready. It's 820. It's time for me to go get ready because I have tours today. So I'm somewhat ready. <clears throat> so I was just going to let you know. So this morning, while I was handling all the rabbit situation, my husband heard this loud screaming outside. So he went to the big animals to let them out and come to find out the goat was stuck under the hayloft. So he had to lift up the hayloft to let the goat out because it was screaming bloody murder. <laughs> so while I was handling all the inside stuff with the kids, he was outside rescuing the goats. And that's just how it works when you have a farm. <clears throat> so I'm scarfing down a protein bar because I'm in a hurry, because I had chaos this morning. So I'm scarfing down the protein bar before I start the uh, tour this morning. And this is just how it goes. Some mornings are smooth. Some mornings are total chaos. So thanks for joining me this morning. To be continued. Like and subscribe to my page because there will be a part two to this. I'm gonna leave the kits alone. I will check on them throughout the day, but tomorrow I will check their bellies to see if they have been eating and hopefully Fluffy Mae will not kick them out of the nest. So subscribe to part two.